Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer is live at that store right now. Bridget, you actually were able to get your hands on surveillance video that was released from that store. Yeah, you're exactly right. And that surveillance video gives us a disturbing look at what unfolded early this morning at 1.30. Now police are trying to piece together what happened and why that argument led to a deadly shooting just moments later. Video provided by Little Bear Food Mart shows two men scuffling inside the store early Monday morning. Moments later, the fight spills into the parking lot, taking a deadly turn. Uh, the motive at this time appears to be an escalating dispute between he and suspect. The shooting suspect is seen on camera running away after opening fire on the other man who died on scene. Police say they did bring someone in for questioning, but it was not immediately known who it was. It's, it's a shame here at this store, you know. It's just not Little Bear. It's every store in the city. It, you can go on the west side, south side, wherever you're at. We spoke to an Atlanta native who identified himself as the wise man. He says violence like this is nothing new in his neighborhood. We got too many convenience stores and nothing else. You know, we got too much beer and liquor in the neighborhood. He stops by Little Bear often to pick up essentials, and he doesn't always feel safe. No, I don't. But... I'm not afraid, you know, I, I came from the hood, I'm part of the hood, I'm on the other side of the railroad tracks now, I come back and forth. And now he's calling on the city to do more to prevent gun violence in neighborhoods like this one. And he pleads for people to think before doing something they'll regret for the rest of their life. The gun is not the resolution, but it's the quickest out. When you pull it out, you, get your, you, you do what you do, but then next thing you know, you're gone for the rest of your life. So your children, your parents, your friends, they don't get to see you no more. And so far, we do know the victim is a man in his 30s, but we haven't gotten a name from police. Now, a store employee does tell us he's seen that victim around the store before. He says he is a frequent customer. APD does tell us that they are going to be reviewing that surveillance footage. We're live in Atlanta. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Yeah.